The Supai people, we live in a very remote canyon of the Grand Canyon. Havasu Creek flows right through Supai Village and creates these beautiful waterfalls. A lot of people come and visit us to swim in the waterfalls. We're one of the smallest tribes in Arizona, basically fighting for our existence and our lifestyle. In 2012, the Secretary of the Interior banned all new uranium mines around the Grand Canyon for a period of 20 years. The ban gives scientists time to study and better understand the risks of mining uranium near this sacred place. But now, the mining industry and politicians are working to overturn the ban, paving the way for thousands of new uranium mining claims. I've been studying Grand Canyon Springs now for about 35 years. There's a lot we don't know about subsurface flow in the Grand Canyon. Anyone, including the mining companies who claim they know the hydrology below the mines, really don't know what they're talking about. Groundwater movement is not immediate. We may not find out what happens for a decade or two. Uh, essentially, we're gambling. With so many unknowns, local governments, business owners, hunting and angling groups, conservation groups, and Native American tribes actively supported the 20-year ban on new uranium mines around the Grand Canyon. We fear uranium mining on the rims of the Grand Canyon because there's a very strong potential that we're going to have water contamination. Mining does not drive our economy here. Access to public lands, that's what is our important economic driver here. The moratorium on uranium mines was really important to a broad coalition of people who came together to understand that this is in the best interest of this region. If the Supai water is contaminated, the future of my society, of my people, will disappear. Some places are too precious to mine. The Grand Canyon is one of them.